Boron Neutron Capture Therapy, D8. Let's start with an analogy. You've seen these Perspex cubes at the mall. They contain a little sculptures that are composed of multiple little dots in 3D. Shoot a low-powered laser in, nothing happens when they're creating these sculptures. What you need is a second low-powered laser, and where they meet, it will melt a tiny bit of plastic and put a dot there. Neither laser is powerful enough to do this on their own. So in this therapy, a chemical containing the isotope of boron, boron-10, is selectively attracted to cancer cells. Now this chemical with the boron-10 is non-toxic. Your head is then beamed with neutrons, and neutrons by themselves are also non-toxic. A neutron beam isn't really going to be very dangerous at all. But where they meet, the boron-10 turns into boron-11, and that's another beast. Let's look at the, let's look at the nuclear equation. So boron-10 and a neutron goes to boron-11. The 10 is safe, but the 11 is very dangerous. It actually will break apart into three things, a gamma ray, a lithium iron, actually, and an alpha particle. And this alpha particle will destroy the cancer cell. Let's look again in a bit more detail. So you're injected with the boron 10 based chemical. It's attracted to the cancer cells in the head and neck. The chemical's inert and the neutron beam is also inert. But where they meet, boron 10 is turned into boron 11. Extremely dangerous. Boron 11 spontaneously turns into a gamma ray, which in this case uh, we're not particularly interested in. Lithium ions, which had some effect of destroying the cancer cell, but it's these alpha particles, actually helium nuclei, alpha particles, same thing. They are very heavy, very damaging, and ideally they only go a very short distance. I've read some articles that say they just go about one cell, which is excellent because it's going to kill the cancer cell. So let's take another look at that equation again. I've underlined the alpha particle, which is uh, the particle that destroys the cancer cell. Now, the lithium I said was lithium ions, but I didn't put a charge on the iron here. Well, these nuclear equations, you don't have charges on the ions. They're ignored. And notice that the mass numbers add up to 11 in each of the three parts of the equation, as they must do. And the atomic numbers at the bottom all add up to five in each part of the equation also. So the equation's balanced. 